Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the Water Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creator related. Today I am going over the plants in the game that they just added recently and how you can link it up to buttons to make the plants explode and grow back. So you can grow them and you can explode them just like this. Grow, explode, grow, explode. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So you can find these devices in your creative menu in your devices tab and it should be on the top otherwise you can search them up right here. We have the stink flower, we have the bomb flower, and we have the slurp plant. So let's place all these down right now. There's the slurp plant, bomb flower, and our stink flower just like that. And here are all of our plants. So I guess let's go through the settings of the first one. The first one right here, if we go right into the slurp plant. Obviously, you can change the name of it right here. You can you can do whatever name you want. Slurp plant one, slurp plant two, slurp plant three, whatever you would like. It should name that automatically though. So you're gonna want to make sure you go to this second menu right over here, where with all the four lines, so you get all of these settings. But the first setting here is launch on hit. This is if you want the whole plant to launch when you hit it. One thing, and when you're in your creative uh, like thing here, you can actually hit the plant. And you can see what it does. Like, you can test it out in your creative. And so if I turn on launch on hit, if I turn that on, it'll respawn and it'll go flying like that and it'll look really silly. So I just turned on launch on hit and it can go flying. Ready? It's funny. So you can, like, heal some of your teammates. You can have, like, a whole game on where you can heal your teammates and stuff. It's really nice. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I'm going to keep it on for now. Next one right here, enable during game phase. This is what uh, game phase you want to enable during. Do you want to enable none of the time? Do you want, and you enable it manually? Do you want it always enabled? Pre-game, gameplay, or create only is your what I'm in right now. This is create only. So you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to keep mine at always. Next one's here, grow automatically. Do you want the plant to grow automatically? Only the initial time, so it only can be used once. Do you want it to get do regrowth only or not at all? So you, you could pick whatever setting you want here for grow automatically. I'll keep it on true, so whenever you hit it, it will have a regrowth delay of however many seconds I will choose. So I'm going to set my regrowth delay to 5 seconds. That means if this is enabled, it will regrow in 5 seconds after you hit it. I'm going to put mine to 3, actually. Next one here. Initial delay. This is the initial delay of the first spawn of the plant when you load in the game. So you can set this to whatever you want. I can, I'll set it to 1 just for now. Next one right here is the infinite regrowth. Uh, you keep this on. If you, Unless you don't want infinite regrowth, then you would turn this off. It's pretty self-explanatory. And one thing, if you do turn off the setting, we do have the maximum regrowths in here. So instead of being infinite, if you click off, you can set how many regrowths you want for this plant. You can set up to, uh, let's see, up to 100, which is nice. I'm going to keep this on for me. Uh, can grow in storm. That means if this plant is in storm and you want it to grow, then you can keep this, uh, you can put it on. But if you don't want it to grow in storm, keep it off. Pretty simple. Next one is hide when disabled. When this device is disabled, do you want it to hide, which um, not be able to show the actual plant? There's a couple settings for these. You can keep it on so you can see everything. You can uh, turn it off so you see nothing when it's disabled. Or you can just show the leaves on the plant. I'll keep mine to true. Okay, that's good for that plant, but we right here we have the stink flower. Everything's the same, and yeah, they should be the same for all of them, so let's just set all my settings. Okay, so now my settings are now set for all the plants. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to hook up all these to a button, which you can press to make the plants grow, explode, or other things that are right in here in your function area enable disable grow and explode so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this and delete this and we're just gonna look at the slurp plant only right now here's our slurp plant and 
let's grab a button from our device area. It doesn't have to be a button. It could be a button, mutator zone, all that stuff. Anything that can send out a um, uh, function. So let's make our button a little bigger so we can do this. Put it right here. So let's place one button. Let's place two buttons. And let's say we'll have the first button. We'll have this button explode it. So we'll type explode. Just like that. Explode. This is our explode button. So we're going to go over here and we're going to type explode right here in the interaction text. We're going to come on over here and we're going to go to our events area. And we're going to do the only one you should see here is on interact, if you're on the button at least. On interact, send to a device. So, so this is a device, this is our only device map. When you get more devices in your map, the more devices you have, the harder it is to look through this whole list. So I would recommend whenever you place down a, dev a device, just name that device. It'll help you so much in the long run of making a map. But anyways, we click on our device, click on slurp plant, then we click on explode, and click OK. So first, this button will explode. Now let's do this button. This button, since we already have exploding, this one will grow. So we'll do grow on this one. And we're going to go to the same thing, the events tab right here. On interact, you're going to click add. Select a device. You're going to click our slurp plan again. And you're going to click grow. And then I'll click OK. And then I'm going to go down here and change the name. Boom. OK, so if we do start the game right now, those buttons should work. They should explode and grow the plant. So if we come over here, we hit this, it goes flying, right? But if we explode it, it'll explode right here. And if we grow it, oh, I didn't click grow. Explode, grow. Explode, grow. Explode, grow. Just like that, uh, the buttons work for the plant, and it it's really helpful. And it also, these plants, if you don't play Battle Royale much, uh, you can run at these and slide into them, and they'll still um, explode. So you can just sit here and just... Yeah. So there's different channels, or you could... Um, there's one more thing you can could do with a mutator zone, where if you walk into a mutator zone or emo into a mutator zone, it'll make it explode. So let me show that, that real quickly. If I type in mutator, and then I place it down, I think I've done I've gone over this device before, so I'll leave it in the I card. So I'm gonna move this mutator zone right um, over here, right above this, and we're gonna customize it, and we're gonna go in here, and you're gonna want to go to the player starts emoting. You're gonna want to add an event, select device, click our slurp plant once again. And then come over here and click explode. Okay. And then if we start the game, we brought up to the slurp plant. And emote. It should explode our plant. This this device is a little buggy, but it, it should explode it. Whenever I emote, it's disappearing, which means it's, it's exploding. So there you go. That's everything with the slurp plant. I hope you did enjoy this video. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the slurp plant. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, subscribe. Leave a like, subscribe. And if you would like to support me even further and support the channel, we do have a new code in the item shop. I just changed my code. So if you like to use code PEEP, I meant to say PEEPER, P-E-E-P-E-R. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's it. See you in the next one. A sister out. Thank you.